Hey y'all, it's your girl Tay, and welcome to Fat Girl World. We doing ourselves a remote video, <laughs> whatever. I'm on the laptop, so if it's funny sounding or whatever, please forgive me. Please forgive me. But um, yeah, I want to talk about uh today. I want to talk about self image and self preservation and self esteem. Having good self-esteem or a positive self-image is important for everyone to have. It's important because the way that you feel about yourself determines what you do in life. Okay. If you feel bad about yourself, you will do bad things. Bad, bad things to other people bad things to yourself you won't typically do good to yourself you will typically do self-destructive hurtful things to yourself and it doesn't have to be you know a large things like drugs and stuff that you can do simple things to hurt yourself when you have bad self-image or bad self-esteem low self-esteem self-esteem is the esteem of yourself a lot of people get it mixed up and get it confused with other people's perception. What other people perceive of you is not what you are necessarily. Your looks are what people perceive of you when they first lay eyes on you. When you speak, your actions helps them to have a opinion of your character. And people oftentimes in life get all of these things mixed all up and confused. And they take them, they bond them together, and that's a dangerous thing to do. And it gives you low self-esteem, bad self-esteem, negative self-image. To accept the part of yourself to accept it as a part of you is a step towards change. I accept that I'm fat. I accept that I'm not everyone's image of beauty. I accept that they don't perceive me as generally being sexy or attractive. That's what I accept. By accepting that part of me, I am able to take away the other people's power of being able to influence my self-esteem, my self-image. That does not mean that I feel like it is a positive thing to be fed. It means that I've accepted that part of myself. And by accepting it and acknowledging it is a step in the process of doing something about it is a step in the process of knowing that this needs to change for me. Because I'm fat, I'm not going to hate myself. I'm not going to think that I'm not beautiful. I'm not going to think that I'm not sexy. I'm not going to think that I'm not a good person. Because other people... And these other people sometimes in your life could be your mother, your father, sister, brother, your husbands, your children, your, your, your friends, and people who are supposed to love you. Sometimes they do it on purpose. Sometimes they do not know. The whole world tells us that being fat is not sexy that being fat is not attractive that being fat is not good in a vain way it is not them saying we're concerned about your health we're concerned about your quality of life we're concerned about those types of things it is them purely perceiving the outside they don't know you and if someone that you love has that perception and that's why they're doing it you'll know and if that's why they're doing it 
their opinion doesn't count. But when your family comes to you and says, you have diabetes, hypertension, and you're having joint problems and liver problems and stomach problems and all kind of problems because of your weight, that's because they love you and they want you here. You have to take the time to know and understand that what you say to yourself has more power than what the people on the outside say. Because at the end of the day, it's just God in you. Your two opinions are the only two that matter. And when you tell yourself well, what these other people are telling you based off of your looks, you're not doing yourself no favors. You're hurting yourself. The whole world can tell me that I'm not good. But as long as I know and God know, I don't care. And that's how I want other people to feel. That's what I want other people to know. Because knowing that... Hello? Hey, I'm going to call you back in two in two seconds, okay? No, I'm, I'm no, I'm seriously, I'm serious. I'm going to call you right back. I promise, Mike. All right. Sweetie. But um anyways, I want you to know and I want people to feel this way. I want whoever to know that I don't care what you say to me I don't care what you do to me because when God looks down here on this earth and he looks at people he does not and I don't care who tells you this he does not look at our bodies what God looks down because why would he he created you he knows what you're gonna look like when you born and when you die he knows the choices you're going to make he knows he knows the decisions that he gives you to make in life he gives you the paths that you follow he knows you so why would he be worried about vanity that changes every day who you are on the inside does not change and i say this over and over again because when you are beautiful and ugly people cannot see do not let other people's perceptions of you control how you feel about yourself. Don't. And I don't care who it is. I don't care. I don't care. Your mother brought you into this world. If she's not telling you about your weight or your whatever flaw because she loves you and because it is something that will benefit you because it's purely because she wants to be able to take you shopping or she wants to uh not feel ashamed when she takes you somewhere or she wants you to uh, be able to ride roller coasters and you hate roller coasters if these are the vanity things that she's concerned about her opinion doesn't care neither but when she says to you baby you sick take heed that's not what i'm saying I'm saying that whatever you find in your life that is flawed and needs to be changed, before you can change it, you must accept it. How could I say I need to lose weight if I've never acknowledged the fact that being overweight isn't good for me? My physical body will never change Artavia. Ever. And people get it messed up when they let other people tell them how they should feel about themselves when it is only one person whose opinion of you matters and that's you you will never be what other people want you to be you will never look how other people want you to look you will never do what other people want you to do because once you do this one thing that they want you to do I guarantee you there's another thing that they want you to do that you have not done you will never succeed at that what you can succeed at is loving yourself and knowing in your heart, in your soul, that you are beautiful. Because that's where beauty comes from. Beauty does not come from here. You've been alone many years. You've been alone a long time. Someone will love you. Someone is going to love you. And you deserve it. 
take the time that you are alone to work on the things that you want to change or improve. And that could be anything from the way you handle people to the way you uh, walk, to the way you put your makeup on, to the way you do your hair, to the way you shop, the way you interact with other people. Know that. And know this. And I'm going to end this video because I don't want this video to be the full length. Know this. It doesn't matter if the whole world tells you that you are ugly. It takes one voice to say that you are beautiful and make it so. And that one voice is your own. That being said, this your girl Tay, you know how to do it at that girl world. One love.